Hello! Today we will be making a paddle boat and the materials you need again are just in your kit. So whatever you receive in that bag is the only thing you're going to need. Besides, if you want to, um, you can color or design these pieces to your boat. Um, I don't know how well crayons will work, but I would say you can paint them. Uh, you would have to let that dry before you would assemble your boat. Markers would probably be best. So if you would like to, it's made out of wood. So marker would probably work really well. So if you want to do that, you can do it after as well, but it might be easier to do everything beforehand. So the first two things we're going to do is make the paddle for our paddle boat boat. So we're going to take the two rectangular pieces with the notches and all you're going to do is to turn uh, one parallel to the surface, one perpendicular, and you're going to put those two notches together and they fit just like a puzzle piece. So I will take those apart again. You can set one on the table like this and turn one kind of to make a plus sign or an X and again they just fit together like that pretty easily. So they make an X when you're done and they, they will fall apart so you want to just I'm gonna let those there, okay? So next we're gonna do is we're gonna set that inside the big cutout of our the body of our boat. And I'm gonna take one of the rubber bands and put it completely around the, um, the paddle. So just like that. And I'm gonna kinda try and turn this around because then leaving the rubber band on the paddle, I'm going to put it around the, um, the boat itself. And then just like you would twist, you're going to twist it around one time and attach it right in that little notch. So all I did was wrap it one time around that little notch. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm just going to stretch out the paddle, put the rubber band around it. And then let me just get this the right way. Just take the rubber band and wrap it around that notch one time. And that actually will secure that paddle in there pretty good. Um, so it's not going to come out. So you pretty much already have it done. So to make it actually work, you would then um, maybe put it in your bathtub or in your sink or in a container of water. And then you will um, twist the paddle like this. So as you're twisting the paddle, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but our rubber band is being twisted pretty tightly. And you can twist this for a good bit. Okay, now how this works is while you're twisting it, you're creating um, a source of energy in the rubber band. So that then, when you put it in the water, will then release the energy when you let go of the paddle and it'll unwind, releasing all that energy and this paddle is gonna push water out of the way. So as you do this, we can do that again. So the more you wind it, the more energy that we're storing inside that rubber band. When it unwinds, the paddle wheel rotates, and then the, the paddles will move the water and propel your boat forward. So I'm gonna twist it again, and let it go. Now, I don't know how straight it may go. You may need to adjust some of the rubber bands. Like my paddle's kinda a little crooked, so it's gonna might actually veer off to the, to the left there, but that's essentially it. Um, you can adjust the rubber bands. Maybe you want to make it go to the left. Maybe you want to make it go to the right. Um, those are things that you can do when you're testing it out on your own. So have fun designing and creating your own paddle boat.